Hello, I'm here again with another video to compare real versus a fake Stella McCartney Balabella bag in the gray color. Although these bags are timeless, I believe they're not overly popular at the moment, but there are tons of pre-owned bags on the market. Uh, hopefully this will help you make a decision if you want to buy a pre-owned one instead of a new one. I'm going to be comparing two different sizes, although it's meant to be the same color um, from different seasons. The difference between the two being that the Fallabella tote bag is a large size tote bag with a shoulder strap and the mini bag comes with a really long crossbody strap and is a significantly smaller. Start with the coloring. Um, the fake one is a way lighter gray, although the Falabella gray seems to be lighter for the newer seasons anyway. The authentic is a slightly darker gray, but it is a, an older one. The most important detail to look at is going to be the texture of the fabric. Uh, if you look at the fake one, it's just kind of got these weird fabric lines running through it. And there's no real sheen to it at all. It kind of just looks like suede. The authentic, you're going to notice it almost looks a bit like skin. I'm not really sure how to best describe that. This one's been a bit roughed up over the years, um, but you'll notice that there's these little dots of shine in it. You'll notice within the fabric there's these dark spots and those are the parts that kind of shine in the light. The decal that says Stella McCartney um, honestly doesn't look any different. They're going to have different sizes based on the different bags, but honestly, the detailing is pretty close. Chain detailing, I think, will have anyone fooled. quality of the chain is quite heavy. It actually might be heavier than the authentic one, but it's difficult to tell um, between the small one since they tend to make those chains a bit lighter and smaller. On the authentic, this one again showing wear. So don't be concerned if you're looking at a fairly used one and it's got discoloration on the metal. Small detail I did notice with the Authentics is where the handles meet. There's two strings wrapped around it. And with the fake, there's only one. You might see two, but it should be wrapped around the same section. Shoelace type rope that they use to tie all the chains together uh, is very comparable. Who knows, maybe the supplies are made elsewhere and just put together in Italy where the bag is said to be made from. The older one's a little dirty. The fake one seems to be made a lot thicker and a lot heavier, so it feels a little more rigid. It actually adds quite a bit of weight for the bag just being empty. Um, the authentic ones tend to be a lot more floppy, a thinner fabric. Another detail to look out for is the magnetic closure. This one in detail looked quite good, but if you compare it to the authentic one, the 
pieces tend to be thicker where these are thinner looking. On the authentic, uh, granted it was a darker metal that's rubbed off over the years, but if you compare them, it is a lot thicker for both of them. Better quality. Larger touts tend to come with a zipper closure, um, so I won't compare really what that looks like. But if you look at the logo, on the authentic, it's gotten a bit beat up over the years, but really similar detailing. The authentic tends to have more consistent stamping. I'm not sure if the Made in Italy should be closer to the stitching than it is on the fake. But you kind of notice that like the S and the C are more indented. The inside of the bag, they actually did quite a good job. It's a high quality textile with the logo appearing in circles, just like the original one. It comes out all the same. Where with the authentic, kind of like a darker shade of pink, but uh, the fabric feels almost the same, a little bit sturdier, I guess. Um, it's just not as bright pink, but who knows, it could change between seasons. It looks like they sewed the bottom like this, as opposed to that. And went as far as to put in the link for your keys or a wallet. The fabric is more evident where it gets sewn together in the middle here. It's a really thick piece of fabric. There's still some fabric there, but it's not nearly as thick. Makes the bag a lot less heavy that way, especially when you're putting stuff in it. And they tend to make their bags with a little tag inside the pocket here. Sure enough, fake has a tag. Not really sure if the numbers mean anything on the fake. On the authentic, there are two tags. Fonts almost look the same. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. I think the Falabella is a really timeless design. I know it'll probably come and go in terms of preference, but it's a really cool alternative to like a suede handbag that's got a bit of an edgy look to it.